But let's talk about the dandy of the combine, is, is what I'm reading, is Anthony Richardson, right? Mm-hmm. We've talked about how quarterback could potentially be a need, and this is going to lead to our conversation about Jared Goff. Have we been unfair to him? Mm-hmm. But let's talk about Anthony Richardson first, right? Mm-hmm. 6'4", 244 pounds, 21 years old, mm-hmm. sets the record for vertical jump for a quarterback, runs a 443 official 40 yard dash, a 153 10 yard split, and a 10 foot 9 inch broad jump. Freak athlete. Mm hmm. Skyrocketing up draft boards. Oh, yeah. Do you have any interest in Anthony Richardson? You do. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, I I'm a it. sucker, man. I'm I a sucker. I can't lie. But okay. it's not just because of the combine. Now let let's let me let me start this off right. What he did in the combine for his sake and what it's gonna do for him is gonna be impressive because a it lot is, of teams are gonna for fall sure. for that. Yeah, absolutely. Now I I don't like you don't look at the combine as like this big indicator of a player's future. I don't necessarily and this may sound unfair or crazy. I don't necessarily look at wins and losses in college football as a major indicator of who you're going to be like so people look at florida's record last year oh they were terrible he didn't win games blah, blah blah that's a fact i get that but i didn't look at florida coming into the season as one of these powerhouse teams like they weren't ranked before the year they didn't finish off great i think they were like what sub 500 so yeah, they, they didn't do a whole lot yeah and he didn't he wasn't great in a lot either so just to be fair however there are tools with this young man that you can work with. First of all, I like For that sure. he's 21. He's younger. He's not Very a look, like later side as a rookie. I'm fine with that. So even if you sit him, it gives him time to develop, learn where you don't have to rush anything. And like knowing like how he played, like there were plenty of games where he had like I think two over 400 yards. Like he had plenty hundred yard rushing games. Like he has a big arm. Obviously needs to work on some uh, accuracy issues. But as we've seen with Jared Goff, we'll talk more in depth about him later. When you put the right pieces around a prospect, it clearly can elevate their game. Let's be fair and clear. We didn't expect Patrick Mahomes to look at how he did when he That's came true. out the combine and when he came out the draft. There were quarterbacks taking at him. So if you put the right pieces around a guy, he can be successful. And with a team There's... with a great offensive line, great mm-hmm. receivers with upside, a defense that's ascending, a coaching staff that would believe and help this kid, I don't think it's a bad idea to keep in the back of their mind. So I'm interested. I'm definitely interested. I can't lie. <laughs> I kind of am too. Oh, no, you but, too? But at the same time, I'm also not. Okay. See, here's the thing. The issue is there's a lot of Maybe I would even say too many red flags. Okay. And here's what I want everybody to believe about Anthony Richardson, okay? I need you to believe this. I've watched the tape. Tape looks okay. Mm Mm-hmm. He is going to be the most polarizing prospect in this draft. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. He's either going to make some GM look like a genius... Or going to cost them their job. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. And that makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. That makes me very nervous, especially for the Lions, because literally, if the Lions were to take the pick number six, let's say, let's say that through free agency, they address what they need to address to afford them the opportunity to take offense that high. Okay. I still think it's a mistake, personally. Okay. If you draft Richardson at six, you have you've gambled the future on potential. Yep. We're talking about twenty four games in college. We're talking about a fifty five percent career completion percentage in college. Mm -hmm. Twenty four touchdowns to fifteen interceptions. Only three thousand collegiate passing yards. One thousand one hundred and sixteen collegiate rushing yards. I don't think there's enough experience to spend a number six top 10 draft pick on him. Yes, the attributes are incredible. Yes, the ceiling is immense. And I would say he's probably the top quarterback prospect. 
especially after the combine. Mm-hmm. But there's two. There's just too many red flags, man. Like I'm looking at like his game logs against good defenses, sub fifty percent percentage or completion percentage. It's not good. Justin Fields, like that's that's not good. Mm-hmm. Throws a beautiful deep ball. Looked really mm-hmm. good. Looks really good. Freak athlete. You cannot teach his size. I get all of the arguments. Is the juice going to be worth the squeeze, though? It's, a, it's worth the question. He's got to be able to. In the NFL, you have to be able to throw guys open. You can't wait you like to. you can in college. No. You can't wait for them you to separate. You got to throw them open. Let me ask you a question, though. So let's say the Lions only had one pick. And let's say they were... Um, Let's say they're under 500. Let's say they were 5 and 11. Some terrible. Something that validated that number six pick and they did get it from the Rams. Sure. And the Lions were interested in Richardson again. Knowing what we know about him now, would you be more upset if the Lions took him in the losing situation that they were in or if they took a chance on him now with the winning uh, foundation behind him? I would be more upset now. As opposed to the losing situation. In the losing wow. situation, and, and here's what, let me explain this. Okay. I'd be more upset because if we ended up 5-12, and because there's 17 games, right? Right. Mm-hmm. If we ended up 5-12, and 12, that means Jared Goff hadn't played good, and they're most likely not committing to him as a starter. So okay. it makes sense to use your high draft pick to mm-hmm. draft one of these quarterbacks then. Okay. Now, the fact that we've seen Jared Goff play well, and this will go into our third segment that we're going to get to here in a minute, which I don't know if you're trying to tee up or if you're not. I just can't just, help it. it keeps I can't help rolling it. rolling back to him. <laughs> can't help it. Given what we know about how Goff played, mm-hmm. and I don't know, I you. it all depends on what's there. If yeah. Will Anderson and them are off the board, do you potentially think about that? I don't know. Do you trade out of it? There's so many questions. It's so hard to make a like pure decision. But I will say this. If you bet on Anthony Richardson, you're either betting that he hits his ceiling or you lose your job. Okay. That's it. He's think- either going to make you look like a genius or he's going to cost you your job. Okay. Because there's too many unknowns, there's too many red flags to say he's a surefire prospect. Okay, I agree with that. NFL.com and- even called him just a potential plus starter. Okay. Which is good, right? That's better than average. It's cool. But it's potential. He needs years to develop. The Lions yeah. have a good situation for that. But can you let a number six pick sit for three years? Is that possible? Sit for two years for sure and then take over in year three? And then you only have year three, year four, and his fifth year contract to potentially win. Mm-hmm. I think it, it's a gamble. So, I, I it's think it's just more, not checkers, man. I think it's more risky for a team like the Raiders coming out of the situation that they're in where they were just losing. I think it's more risky for a new regime like the Panthers where they're trying to solidify a brand new foundation. Something like the Lions, like for me to go back to my question, I wouldn't be as upset at all if they drafted him uh, now with this situation compared to if he were had the red flags and you didn't have the foundation set. O-line is, like you said, a lot of things are, maybe yeah. let's say the O-line isn't as good. The defense doesn't take a step. Maybe Hutch looks slower or whatever. A lot of things have to go wrong for that to happen, obviously. But for me, considering that everything is set for this kid, and again, it's a lot of development that's still needed for him. I think with the right pieces around him, and again, in today's NFL, I think there's a lot of value in having guys that can improv that can make plays happen on the run. And I think that is going to be one of his biggest strong suits. You don't have that here with the Lions yet. I believe with some fine tuning with the right pieces around him, the pick would make sense. Mm-hmm. Now, it's going to be complete anarchy either way. If the Lions draft him, there's going to be one side that loves it and another side that's going to be ridiculously upset. It's going to be anarchy either way, but I think it's worth the gamble with what we given know everything him. that I've said and ba- and what you just said. Here's what I, I what I do believe to be true. Okay, if Richardson were to go to a team like the Colts, right? 
that really doesn't have that foundation. They've been struggling to find a quarterback, and he's going to be their day one starter. Mm-hmm. As opposed to coming to the Lions, who do have more success, more of a foundation, he will be more successful if a team like the Lions draft him Easily. than if he's a day one starter in 2023. For sure. There's no doubt about that. Yep. Now, are the Lions in a position to afford a number six? Now, listen, that would be two years in a row that you've used top 12 picks to not play essentially their first season. Yeah. I don't love that. Don't love that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the reward that could come with it is what makes you interested. Because, yes, it could be boom or bust. I don't think, like, if he doesn't work out, I don't think it would be a situation where it would cost the GM their position. Not in Detroit, at least. For the Colts, for the Raiders, for those NFC South teams, yeah. I don't. I think the Lions have a little bit more leeway that they can wiggle around with with this guy. I just, I don't know, man. I He's so polarizing to me. I, I told you this off air. There's, like, in a span of 10 minutes, the first five will be like, oh, my gosh, we can't pass on this guy. We got to have him. He can be a game changer. And then literally minute six, I'm like, nope, the worst idea ever. Let's not do it. <laughs> like, I don't, I really legitimately do not know what to think about him. I that's, don't. That's why you take everything kind of with a grain of salt. Like, you, you can't. Have to, it's not sure. just the combine. It can't just no, it be can't his be. highlights. You have to parse everything with this dude to make a, fa- a fair evaluation. You like, do. It can't just be one thing. Yeah. Because like, his you, speed is elite, right? I mean, oh, elite speed. Oh. He's got a great arm. He looks, I mean, he just looks like a physical specimen. 6'4", 230. NFL, yeah, and NFL.com compares him to Cam Newton. Would I be happy with Cam Newton on the Lions? Uh, uh, Good Cam. Not, maybe. Yeah, not, okay. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Fair, yeah. This is a kid that's going to need time to grow. Now, Cam was, if I'm not mistaken, a day one starter. I don't think Richardson's going to be yeah. that. Because no. Cam also had more time under his belt in college. Mm-hmm. I, he's just so doggone. I just, uh, it, if I had hair, I'd be pulling it out right now because it it drives me insane. I literally do not know what to think about him. No idea at all. None, none whatsoever. I don't even, we got to move on because I have no idea what to think about him. And That's because we need to move have. on. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do want to remind everybody that we will be back on Friday night. So make sure that you check us out on Friday night. We're going to talk a little bit of an NFL news roundup because there's been a lot of news that has taken place and how that can affect the Detroit Lions. And that'll obviously bring in more free agency talk because you guys all hated my suggestion of Dalton Schultz, which is fine. It's okay. I don't mind that. It was just an idea. Don't, don't kill me. Okay. (laughs) 